oh my effing gosh, I think I just filmed an entire video and my mic wasn't working. I, I need to look and double check this footage isn't working because I just, I, I can't even bear to think about refilming this right now. This is so embarrassing. My first video off to a bad start in the new year, but we're gonna turn that frown upside down. Hello, Dirty Forkers. I went grocery shopping. New year, new me. I'm no longer ordering mother forking food. I deleted my Postmates app, which is a very big step for me, but I feel like I just, I needed to save more money. If you don't know what Postmates is, it's a food delivery app and I just, I need to start making more meals at home. So I went grocery shopping and I spent way too much money grocery shopping, but it's gonna last me two, maybe even trickle into three weeks. So here's the thing. I just filmed this entire haul and the sound slash mic wasn't on, but I'm gonna re-show you everything because I'm a mother forking good YouTuber. And not only do I need this motivation right now in the new year of 2023, but you need it too. So I'm doing this for you guys. So if you wouldn't mind, please comment down below hmm, one of your new year's resolutions because I need some engagement on this forking video so I can see that it's worth it. Anyway, my strategy with grocery shopping is simple. It's very similar to my strategy when it comes to buying clothes. When I buy a new clothing item, I like to picture it three different ways I could wear it. So for instance, this Aviator Nation pullover crew neck type thing. I could wear this on my way to a workout. I could picture myself wearing this on a hike. I could picture myself wearing this with denim and some Uggs and a really cool trucker hat. I could picture myself putting it over my shoulders when I'm going to tennis. I could picture it more than three ways, which means ding, 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 we have a winner and a reason to actually purchase an item. If you cannot think of three ways to wear it or visualize it in your closet, visualize actual outfits you would wear it out and about like the next week, then eh, eh, not a good purchase. So I like to do the same when it comes to food. I like to visualize it in three different meals or three different ways I could eat it. So for instance, this frozen shrimp. I'm thinking a shrimp fried rice type thing I could make. I'm thinking a shrimp salad. I'm thinking shrimp with um, rice and vegetables and like a whole little bowl type thing. I'm thinking shrimp tacos. There's a bunch of different things, like ways I could use this shrimp. This rotisserie chicken, for instance. The way I would eat this is one by itself. Two, with a vegetable and a carb. Three, I'm going to make chicken salad sandwiches or chicken salad to see with crackers and celery and fun things like that. Yeah, in a sandwich, anything, in soup. Here's a good one, spinach. I picture myself using this in smoothies. I picture myself steaming it and eating it as a side. I picture myself using it as a salad, as a raw base. So, slay. That's how I visualize everything is I need to be able to eat it three different times. That's the 411 if you need help when it comes to grocery shopping. I just went to the grocery store hangry, so I bought way too much, but the way to not go completely overboard is by visualizing those three different meals or ways that you can eat the food. So first thing I do when I come home is I like to set everything out on the counter so I can really see it because the key to using your groceries is similar to when you have clothes in your closet. You wanna be able to see it so that way you can actually wear it. Otherwise, if I can't see it in my closet, I'm never wearing it. And if you can't see it in your fridge or your pantry or wherever you to keep your food, you're never going to eat it. So this is my strategy. I put everything out and I game plan. I'm like visualizing everything in my head and where I want it to go. I kind of like to categorize it by where it's living. So this is like the fridge, produce, Freezer section here, pantry, pantry, fridge. Then I do the changing of the guards in my fridge and get rid of everything that I forgot to use, didn't use, or smells and needs to be thrown away. And then I reload it with all the good stuff. Not good, need to put away. Okay, so this is kind of a closer look into everything that I got. I'm very happy with everything and cannot wait to dig in. Right now I'm picturing what I want to leave out to prep. So here's a quick recap of everything I ended up getting. Arugula, spinach, great for smoothies, great for salads. Obviously had to get a rotisserie chicken for a plethora of things, but mainly for a new chic handbag. Shout out Graydon some ground chicken, asparagus, shrimp. We're getting fancy over here. Baby carrots, of course. 
two bags of cauliflower, flour tortillas, eggs, salsa, fresh made salsa, by the way, salmon, a bunch of frozen fruit, frozen cherries, raspberries, blueberries, great for smoothies, boom chicka pop, the kettle corn, such a huge sleigh, some light ranch for my Midwestern self and because I ran out, raspberries, again, more popcorn. I just am a hoe for popcorn, what can I say? Some little cutie seaweed snack packs, nut thins, oh my gosh, I love nut thins. These own protein shakes, vital proteins, gosh, I love vital proteins, tomatoes, these veggie burgers that are great for throwing on salads and so quick and easy, applesauce, a vinaigrette. I was running out of dressing, so I got a lot of dressing. Uh, rice, I even got some more rice. Buffalo sauce to put on my cauliflower. I love buffalo cauliflower, it's like my favorite thing. Just absolutely diving into this applesauce because I was so hungry and went to the grocery store hungry, which I do not recommend, and that's why I ended up spending so much forking money. Anyway, got another vinaigrette, I don't know why, and then I got a plethora of soups, good soup baby. I'm just in my soup era. January and February, I feel like are great months to just like enter a soup era. I don't know, I went crazy. I got so many different flavors. I love the Amy's soups. I don't know, I just think they're a huge sleigh. These mini thin rice cake daddies. I'm like, I don't even know what you call these, but I was inspired by the photo on the side. So I definitely want to spice up these rice cakes because sometimes they can get boring and that is just not me. So I also got some blackberries, almond milk because I want to make overnight oats. I got shredded iceberg for like taco bowls, an Asian inspired salad, more rice, finally found it. Romaine, I love fresh romaine. Some broccoli, bananas. Oh, I got an eggplant and a zucchini. Two avocados, my fave. Oh yes, I also got these clementine cutie things. Love them and an onion and sweet potatoes. Slay, I guess. Also, if you're not spending the extra dollars on flowers, you're missing out because having a little life and a little color in your space just simply makes me happy. My mother is always like, why do girls get so excited about flowers and Target? You know what? That's for me to know and you to find out. I know the dirty forkers get it. Just add some life to your house. Make yourself happy. Splurge on the flowers, okay? This is your sign. I've decided that I'm gonna get rid of this. I think it's a waste of space and quite frankly, it annoys me and it's a waste of time. So yeah, that's my 411 on this egg thing. unbelievably hungry so I'm going to pause putting the rest of my stuff away to make myself like a little lunch or wrap or something so let's do that going to eat this while I watch a YouTube video or something and then we'll get back to the organizing and all that. Otherwise, I'm gonna go crazy on all of these ingredients and not make an actual like good nutritious meal and then get mad at myself for doing that. So sometimes just take a break, make a sandwich, and move on, you know? Okay guys, I just shredded the rotisserie chicken and I'm gonna put half of this away in Tupperware, and then the other half, I'm going to add some mayo and some other things and make it into chicken salad. Awake all night, I need you. Awake all night, I need you. Awake all night, I need you. Awake all night. Show you a few other meals that I have been making and I've just been absolutely slaying the kitchen lately. This double toast combo is to die for. One savory, one sweet, avocado toast on one side, and then on the left I did peanut butter, cottage cheese, and banana or honey on top. 
It's weird, but it's good. Like, just trust me, try it. I've been trying to make going to the grocery store and cooking my own meals at home fun and aesthetic. I also made this salmon bowl inspired by Emily Mariko, a good yummy green salad. Obviously my breakfast burrito is to die for. That's like all I can say. It is so effing good. You guys have to try it. Um, I can do a whole what I eat in a day or like recipe video. If you guys are down for that, just comment down below. Romanticizing my life, like enjoying the Keurig, enjoying making my oats. I even made these delicious protein pancakes for dinner one night, huge sleigh, soup, salad, nothing like it, call me Panera Bread. I've just been re-falling in love with cooking at home instead of ordering takeout for every forking meal. I'm sick and tired of it. So if any of you are interested in seeing like a full blown what I eat in a day, what kind of food I'm eating, what ingredients I'm using, recipes, etc., let me know. I would love to do that. And I hope this inspires you to maybe make a little bougie dinner for yourself tonight. I love y'all so much and I am so excited for 2023. I really feel like it's our year. I do a whole full blown podcast about 2023, my goals, my vision on my podcast channel. So definitely go check that out. I have linked it down below and don't forget to make someone's day this week. Love you all.